You muddy. Like, like mashing grapes. <laughs> He's just turned this into a mud pit. Wow, what a trip. Not only was this the dog's first time kayak camping, this was my first time kayak camping. I've camped plenty, I've kayaked plenty, but I've never done both. And I'd definitely like to share that experience with you. At the end of this video, I'll have a list of tips and tricks that you can use to take your dog kayak camping. There's no reason we both should suffer and neither should your dog. with Ben and Stella on getting used to the kayak for a little bit now and it's been pretty hit or miss. We started by letting them just get used to the kayak and its existence. Letting them walk on it, sniff it, get on it, whatever they wanted to do. Just doing it at home on the grass. Then we followed it up with an actual test run on the water. Oh my goodness. I wish I would have turned on the camera for that. Ben just wanted to swim and eat all the leaves in the water all of them. Stella was very concerned about our friend and roommate Sherman who was paddling around on his own in an inner tube. She seemed completely convinced that he was definitely going to drown if she didn't jump in and try and convince him to get to shore. Meanwhile, she would get in the water and realize that she wasn't a great swimmer and would begin frantically flapping around. Great. On to the next trip, the kayak camping trip. Two days of equal distance kayaking from this boat launch to this campsite. We had only one kayak, but we also had a giant inflatable duck that we towed behind us with 1100 cord. Day one, wow, kill me. We attempted to keep Stella on the duck with Nick and put Ben with me on the kayak. Stella was so wiggly and jumpy that we were really concerned that she was going to pop the duck. So we moved her from the duck to the kayak. So both her, Ben, and me were on the kayak and Nick was on the duck. We did that right after I turned off my GoPro. So while there's plenty of room on the front of the kayak for both of the dogs, they refused to share. And in their fighting, we capsized. Yeah, that was within 15 minutes of the lunch and almost exactly two minutes after I turned off my GoPro for what I thought was just gonna be an uneventful trip and it would just be staring at Ben's stuff because he gets standing right over it. Of course, I didn't have my life jacket on yet because I'm a kumquat of a person sometimes and I thought to myself, why would I need to wear a life jacket on this incredibly stable kayak on this very gentle water? Yeah, your life jacket isn't just a jacket that saves your life. It's a jacket that makes it so that you can freaking float while you're trying to reel in two dogs and grab all of your untethered, but thankfully waterproof gear that was tossed out of the kayak when it was forcefully thrown upside down. And you've got to flip it right side up, get yourself into it and pull in two dogs. Yeah, that would have been a lot easier if I'd have been wearing my life jacket. When we got about halfway, we switched positions after taking a short break. It was getting late, but we would definitely make it to the campsite before sunset. The water was beautiful and almost surreal looking. I don't think I've ever been kayaking that late and have been able to enjoy that many colors out in front of me on the water. We got to the shore of the campsite. We befriended someone who was camping there, Jeff. And if you went up to the path and down the way, you would get to the actual campsite areas, but they were completely full. We were more than happy to camp in the overflow on the shore though. I made dinner while Nick set up the tent and got the sleeping gear ready. The dogs were tethered to an in the ground lead system and were busy chasing bugs and eating any sticks they could find. Original plan for the morning was to wake up super early, throw on my headlamp, grab all my camera gear, paddle across the river to get some awesome sunrise pictures. But my batteries, literally the only thing I forgot were both of the batteries for my camera. I was not about it. That day we played in the water a ton. Stella stole my GoPro. The puppies had a WWE match. Ben got 
super, super muddy in a mud pit that he created. And I swam a ton. It's a really fun morning. Once Nick was awake, we packed up camp, got everything loaded back into the kayak. But this time, we left the back as open as possible so that we could let a dog use the back to sit on and a dog could sit on the front. Great first kayak camp with the puppers and a great first camp away from home. Before I get to the tips and tricks, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for some more of our adventures, subscribe. Now here's what I learned on this kayaking adventure about kayaking with dogs. If your dog loves water and is very excited by it, let them swim before putting them into the kayak. It is so tempting for them to leap off your kayak and into the water if they haven't gotten a chance to play around a little and get rid of some of that energy. Ben does not want to stay in the kayak unless he's been able to swim first. It's like holding a bone in front of him and telling him he can't have it and then do that for hours. Next, use a towel, a blanket, a mat, whatever for your dog to lay on while in the kayak. It's hard plastic. They don't want to lay on that. We used a mini dog bed and a towel up front and a rolled up beach mat on the back. All right, we're still working on this last one, but before you get to the water, make sure your dog has a decent grasp on three commands. Sit, stay, and settle. Sit and stay are pretty self-explanatory and fairly easy to teach your dog, but settle is where it's at. Basically, if your dog has learned the command settle, then they will settle down for an extended laydown period and fully relax. I put a link in the description to an awesome video talking about teaching your dog settle, put out by one of the greatest dog trainers in the country, Zach George. Okay, next. Do not let your dog drink the water. Give them water to drink, clean water to drink, filtered water to drink. Do not let them drink nasty lake and river water. While your dog's stomach may be stronger than yours, the water still has a lot of microbes and bacteria and pollutants that can make your dog sick. And lastly, put a life jacket on your dog. Even if you have an amazing water dog that can swim forever, put a life jacket on them. When we capsized, it would have actually been impossible to get right side up if they did not have their life jackets on. Because with their life jackets, they just turned into little dog bobbers. And I didn't have to worry about them at all while I was getting the kayak right side up. Also, their life jackets have amazing handles built right into the tops of them so that you can just grab them and pull them aboard. Got a harness or even worse, just a collar? Good luck. That's all for this video. Me and Ben will be setting out on our own for our own solo kayak camping adventure after some more practice. My uneven tan lines would like to remind you, don't forget to reapply your sunscreen.